Hello and welcome. We are with the Senior Vice President of SAP Analytics. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, what kind of a role do you think analytics will play in finance going forward? I think it plays a material role because uh, finance is uh, building the plan uh, for the enterprise mm -hmm. and is tracking how we are doing on the plan. So therefore, the planning solutions we provide out of analytics portfolio is uh, really the starting point. And then uh, when the plan is finished, with all the iterations with the subsidiaries you have in your organizations, then you need to share as well with the enterprise what is the plan, what we are going for. And uh, there it plays our uh, uh, analytical solutions for business intelligence in, where then the employees can monitor and can see how they are doing against the plan. And uh, finally, the predictive capability we have that not just the finance organization, but the whole enterprise can see how they are doing against this plan. And finance can react immediately if there are issues in reaching the plan and, and make adjustments to the plan. And again, the whole enterprise should know what would be the adjustments to do better uh, and improve uh, the, the business success. You know, many experts believe that uh, technology is one of the key risk factors uh, uh, in the VUCA environment. Would you agree with that view? Uh, if yes, then why? No, I think it's really the enabler. Uh, because uh, CFO organizations, they need to have the controllers in place, mm -hmm. but they need to have as well, um, they need to enable as well the businesses to innovate, bring new products, uh, enter into new markets. And the CFOs, they need to provide the services to the enterprise. And technology can really help. Uh, with real-time finance, what I presented today, uh, it, uh, it starts uh, at, the, uh, at the operational finance system, but it's, uh, it includes as well the analytical solutions that there is a full transparency for the organization. And that's, I think, where CFO is looking for, that, uh, that they have the full transparency. And uh, what kind of a role do you see big data and analytics playing uh, you know, as far as managing uh, an organization is concerned? I think big data there, we, we, we talked today about transactional data, right. which is coming as well out of the finance systems, uh, when you think about invoicing and all, mm -hmm. uh, and all things. Uh, in the audience, we talked about social media. So enterprises need to look as well into the social media, how consumers react to their offering. Right. If there is a negative reaction, they should uh, immediately uh, change the situation, otherwise they, this could really have a big impact on the business. And uh, somebody talked as well about machine-to-machine -machine, um, communication. Right. So this creates huge amounts of data and it offers companies to uh, either offer new services, if you think about machine-to-machine -machine data, you can offer new maintenance services to your customers. Or you know on the sales side that you really can consider uh, that via social media you can reach your customers, but you need to handle as well the feedback from your customers uh, that, uh, that you are driving more revenue and growth for your, for your own company. So it's a, it's a big and important uh, thing um, for our customers. Okay, you know, you also have a lot of clients, uh, particularly mm -hmm. uh, business clients uh, in India. Uh, you know, what is the kind of... Uh, 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 manner in which they actually perhaps adapt to technology are they are they taking over uh, are they taking to technology uh, too slowly too fast or are they taking to it you know just about a medium kind of uh, medium paced kind of manner i think it's like in every market yeah. there are leaders and 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 they always innovate and they are open mm -hmm. uh, for real time uh, information and uh, and therefore we have customers they move uh, the suite uh, suite on HANA right. and uh, and deal on real-time data and leverage this as well in the analytics space where where they have the real-time data always available whether they do plans or whether they run their operational business with our suite on HANA and other customers they they go step by step so for example they bring their analytics environment uh, in the real-time world and leverage uh, the HANA innovation together with our planning solution. We just launched this mm -hmm. and it runs on the real-time database. So we have for customers whatever choice you want to make. You can run it on-premise, in hybrid model or in, in the cloud. And uh, I see, especially in, in emerging markets, a huge opportunity uh, to, to serve business in, in this direction. 
and, and I see a big of interest as well here in India. Okay, uh, you know, so the interest is there. Is it translating into business for you as a company in India? Uh, what kind of uh, business environment uh, do you think you're operating in currently? Yeah, I think there's a, as I said, there's a big demand for, for Sweet on HANA because we have a, we have a fair market share on, on our ERP solutions in, in, in the market here. Mm -hmm. And uh, therefore, we're seeing that customers now moving uh, to Sweet on HANA. So this turns for us into revenue uh, and as well on, on the analytics side. Um, what we just discussed uh, here as well, the mobile solution. Uh, platform from SAP is as well uh, very important and we see revenues as well there. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think it's all coming together and and the economy is picking up again and then we see as well the investments again. All right, sir. Thank you so much for joining us. Okay, thank you.